I shouldn't have put this chocolate in my mouth. Hi, my name is Thomas, and I'm a student at NYU. And this is my space. My Star Wars Lego collection up here, uh, which is a recent obsession. But I've got, I've got the X-Wing, I've got the twin pod car, the TIE Interceptor, and a B-Wing. This is my most recent one. And then Republic Assault Ship, for the record, this is the only one from the prequel trilogy. When I was little, my two favorite things were Star Wars and Legos. What was it Hurricane Irene two years ago? Kept me from moving in. All of my stuff was already packed and like ready to go. The cable went out, but we still had electricity. So I watched Star Wars and I got out a whole bunch of my old Legos. The original trilogy, of course. And I made spaceships and watched the films at four, five, and six. It was fun. We talked too much about Legos already. Oh, we can talk about the other things on the shelf here. Some of these actually came to me very recently because of uh, my grandfather passing away. I'll start with the fun one. So this is, he's called Da Ampen Man. This is one of the only souvenirs that I bought for myself while, while I was in Berlin. In East, uh, in East Berlin, the crossing signal to go was this guy, he's called the Ampaman, or the, the Light Man. I think it told you to cross the street. The other one was him in red, standing there like in a T, telling you to stop. The reason I bought it, you can actually use this bottle opener. Stick his little hand on top of the, the bottle cap, and you put his little foot underneath the bottle cap, and then you just tss. These are a few things that uh, I got from my grandfather. I got to keep of, of his after he passed away. One was his tie clip. Rifle tie clip. I forgot to bring one when I went to his funeral, so actually I, I wore this one. I've never even fired uh, a gun before. Then I have two souvenirs actually from New York. Pappy never went to New York. Never really went further than, I think, 200 miles of where he was born. He was a dairy farmer in rural Maryland, and his he grew up on a farm, and uh, I think like just about everybody in the family before him were farmers. His sister went on vacation to New York. Remember what her husband, I think he was also a farmer, in 1939, which was the year of the World's Fair, and they brought Pappy back two souvenirs. This pretty, uh, pretty gaudy tie clip. Cheaply made, but I like having it, because it was his. And the other thing was uh, this pen knife. My mom told me that he used to use it to clean his toenails. Then there's uh, this guy, this dinosaur. I didn't know the story of this guy, although I had seen him plenty of times because he was on my grandfather's bedside table. My mom, my grandma both remember they told me. Pappy has it because it was my toy. It was maybe three years old, two, three years old. I was playing with it. And I turned to Pappy and I said, I, I must have said something to the effect of, I want you to have this. But he kept it almost 20 years. He just kept this dinosaur because I told him to. You know, I had no idea that that was the, the story behind it. The one last thing that I have of his made my mom laugh so hard that she cried when we found it. You'll have to bear with me because um, it's a little bit broken. There's a rubber band inside, so when you lift the barrel, this man's phallus would stick straight up like that. So you'd lift the barrel up and you'd see that perverted doohickey. The rubber band snapped, so I'll have to get a replacement. There are some things in here that actually I should get rid of. I have an empty... Ah! I guess that there's water in it. There's still some more in here. Uh, why'd I do that? Anyway, I just started using this thickening shampoo because uh, I'm already balding. I, that's why I keep my hair short. Uh, it's genetic and it's irreversible. And I used to, like, worry about dandruff. I don't think I've ever really had dandruff. Started using head and shoulders as a preventative measure. My regular shower gel is Axe Phoenix because I'm 12 years old. I don't know what phoenix means. Phoenix would be red and not blue, because phoenix is like a bird of fire, not of blue. And always make sure that there's no water in them before you open them. One of my personal good friends is Regina here. I think I found her in October. Last year, when I was a sophomore, I found a mannequin torso a lot like this one. After I moved out, Adam and Dylan and Honda threw it out. And then I found this one. The store that we were standing in front of was putting these on the curb. Grabbed it. She's wearing a hat. I don't look good in hats. So that's why she wears it. 
but she's wearing uh, what's affectionately known by my friends and I as nipple shirt. It looks like a normal shirt, except for it has an opening where you can see my nipple. My roommate, Dylan, he got a free t-shirt with the Arts and Sciences logo on the chest, and he wanted to make a patch for his backpack of it, so he cut the logo out. I saw it and I said, are you going to do anything with that shirt? And he said, no, I'm probably going to throw it out, and I said, can I have it? What I think's funny about it is that it's not center. You mostly just see chest, and then out of the corner, you see my nipple. <laughs> well, I guess there's no corner because of the circle. But that's why we call it nipple shirt. This is from when I dressed up as Dr. Tobias Funke from Arrested Development. The sign that my mom had at the train station when I came back from Berlin. If you're ever in here and curious to learn more, Arrested Development reference as well over here. I asked uh, Dylan to get me a snack. He brought me croissants, but he put them in this bag with the sign that says, Dead Dove, do not eat. And I cried laughing. <laughs> I found this one freshman year. Someone was throwing this out. Do you believe that? Like I said before, I love Star Wars. And this is probably what people like the least in my room. I forget the artist, but it's called Spitting into the Wind. You can see the spitting into the wind. I think one thing that like doing this has reminded me of is that the things that I have, or the things that I really enjoy, are related to my friendships. This, where it was me going to Halloween with my best friends, you know, having a fun time. Or, you know, like, my mom welcoming me home. My friend, you know, bringing me a really funny bag for, for something I asked him to bring me a snack, you know. My name is Thomas Baldwin, and I love my friends.